What's up everyone? Welcome back to another Shaq's Outdoor Adventures. We are back. The boat is out. I would say it's still winter time here in uh, the Cincinnati, Northern Kentucky, Southeast Indiana area. It's about 45 degrees today. Might get up to 50. Who really knows? But I'm just happy to be out on the boat. Uh, hoping to catch some slaunches today. I don't know if that'll happen. The bite's gonna be probably be pretty tough. This lake, I'm at Brookville Lake in uh, southeast Indiana, and it does have some smallmouth, so I'm hoping that we can get on the smallmouth bite. Not sure if it's gonna happen again. It also has really good walleye, but I'm not really fishing for walleye today. If I catch a few, great. If not, then uh, hopefully the smallmouth bite's on. I, guys, I appreciate all the support over the winter. I know I don't make very many videos uh, during the winter. Not much to talk about. My life's not that interesting. So let's just get that clear. I'm not an everyday YouTuber. I don't have uh, tons of uh, revenue coming in from YouTube videos or anything like that. Nor do I want to be. I just like making these things for fun. Uh, hopefully you guys can pick up something if you're in my area and uh, love the banter that I have. Uh, you guys uh, love to give me hell for my stupid comments because I have a lot of them. Lots of stupid comments. So anyway, stay tuned. Hopefully it's a good episode. Getting the boat in the water. Prop looks good. Everything looks good. Been taking care of this bad boy. Relighted, uh, rewired, uh, uh, and, and relit some of the things in the boat. Uh, so everything should look good and up to running. So we will uh, we'll see how today goes. Stay tuned. Should be a good episode. It's good to be back out on this water. So what should we start with? I think we're going to start with uh, do some cranking just there. <coughs> Looking for uh, some smallmouth. This is kind of a rocky bottom. It's a point out to the main. So it's a main point. And we're just testing out everything, seeing how the the boat wants to work with me. So far, so good. Knock on some wood. Even if you pick up a drum, I'd be happy. I have the uh, DT-10 on fishing about 18 feet of water, I'm probably probably need to uh, get a DT-15 on, but I don't have one, so I'm going to try this for a little while, see if we can get on anything. Stay right above uh, where I think they're in the bottom column, versus on the bottom. I had the gunners there in a few weeks. Should be a good uh, trip. Never been down there. I've heard that uh, fishing can be and pretty amazing. As you can see, I got the Minn Kota Ultra Maxim, which is uh, just a version of uh, the Ultra. Ultrax that uh, everyone wants these days. It does nothing. Doesn't follow GPS. Barely stays straight. I mean, as much as I'd like to say it, you can't even buy it at Bass Pro Shop anymore. That's how good it is. 
you start to wonder like all right maybe i need all the toys that everyone else gets and then you realize that if you do this 20 times a year a twenty thousand dollar thirty thousand dollar toy for 20 times a year just seems just crazy you guys have spent eighty, ninety thousand dollars on your boats. I hope you fish every single day. Just, just justifying that expense just seems just ridiculous. Impossible. I'll show you how it works. This readout tells you where you're going. This one tells you where you are. This one tells you. lake especially when the water temperature is 36 degrees um, I do have some great trips lined up this year and I hope you guys can uh, stay tuned get out of the wind here um, going to Gunnersville the first week in April and then I'm gonna do sporadic trips uh, fishing in a couple clubs uh, should be a fun year of fishing I hope you guys can stay tuned and uh, watch uh, what I have in store for you uh, but let's talk about efficiency. Um, one of the things that I've noticed getting on and off the water in, in the most efficient way possible is always a challenge. So what I've done is I've come up with a uh, storage system that I feel like that if you are looking to uh, get on and off the water as fast as you can, this is the best way to do it. I store my boat at a place that I can't keep all my tackle and everything in the boat. And plus, what I've noticed over time is if you check out some of these rods, you get some mold underneath uh, or on the actual rod handles. And what I'm trying to do is uh, limit that and also be able to get my rods in and out pretty quickly. So what I got, I have rod socks. Um, it's probably hard to see. Uh, all my rods are in socks. And then when I do uh, store them in the rod storage, I keep all the socks on at all times. Helps me slide in and out of the rod holders. And then um, the next thing I do is I store all my tackle in this, uh, I think it's a, it's a 100 quart hefty bin. So I can fit everything that I have that goes in the boat in this and then actually get it on and off and then i take all my graphs off as well so when i get to the lake i have to do all that i have to get it all set up so you're talking 30 40 50 minutes you have to kind of plan for prior to actually entering the water which is always kind of a pain one of the things about owning a boat that a lot of people don't ever talk about is 
the limited amount of time you actually are on the water versus how much time you prep to be ready for it. So keep that in mind, guys. Um, and then if you got any recommendations, I'm always happy to uh, to uh, answer anything that you guys might have or add to uh, the equation. Or if you can think of something more efficient, let me know down in the comments below, and I'll be uh, happy to uh, kind of tell you my theory on those things. So. You know, stay tuned. This year's going to be uh, on and off the water quite a bit. I'm hoping to get to utilize the boat as much as possible. Hoping to catch some big ones. Um, this area, again, as I always say in almost every one of my videos, is a very, very, very tough area to fish. So, if you guys are out there and you're fishing these these waters too, let me know what's working. Let me know what's biting. And if you ever want to fish with me, just let me know in the comments. I'd be happy to go take somebody out and go fishing. So thanks again for watching. I appreciate all the support. Uh, make sure that you watch the other videos that are actually on the screens, probably right here and here. And then uh, subscribe and then hit that bell to remind you when I make a video. Sorry, today's video was kind of boring, but at least got out on the water. Stay tuned. Thanks, guys. Thank you.